Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of Mary of Textbook, question 47. And in this one, we know the lower lumbar region A of the spine is the part of the spine column most susceptible to abuse while resisting excessive bending caused by the moment of A of a force F. And we have some given values for F, B, H, and we need to determine the angle theta which causes the most severe bending strain. So basically what we're trying to find in here is to find the maximum moment of this force F, or actually I should say the angle, what would be the angle theta that we have the maximum uh, moment about point A, so there are two ways to solve this question. Let's go with the first one and I'll do a second method in the second part of the video, which will be the fastest way probably to solve this one. So basically we're interested to find a moment about point A. We're gonna call counterclockwise positive. And if we dissolve uh, the force F to X and Y component, we're gonna call our X and Y in here. So basically the y component would be f times cosine of theta and uh, the x component will be f times sine of theta. And what we have for the moment, we can see that uh, both moments are clockwise, so we have a negative sign. So minus f times cosine of theta for the y component, the distance that we have for r would be what we have from here to here, which is b. And we also have the moment of the sine or the x component, which was minus f sine of theta. Again, the moment is clockwise. And the distance that we have in here is what we have from the line of action to here, which is h. So that's the moment that we have. And if we want to find the maximum of the moment about point a, basically we are interested in the derivative of m uh, with respect to theta and if we have this to uh, if we have this equal to zero we can find the theta that we're interested in so we're going to start with the derivative of each of these from the first one we have uh, minus f cosine of theta times b which will be uh, basically minus f times derivative of cosine as i said is minus sine of theta times b and we have uh, the derivative of sine, which will be cosine of theta times h equal to zero. And from here, basically, our f times sine of theta times b is equal to f times cosine of theta h. We can cancel out the f. And if we divide this by cosine of theta from the left side, we get tangent of theta times b is equal to h, meaning tangent of theta is h over b, or our theta will be tangent inverse of h over b. So yeah, that was the first method. The second one, which is the easy one, is uh, we know when we have the maximum moment about point a, since from the definition of moment we have r cross f which in 2d we pretty much r time f times sine of theta when we have the sine maximum the moment will be maximum too we know sine is something actually the absolute value of the sine is something from 0 to 1 which means the highest value that we can have for sine is 1 meaning our theta has to be 90 degrees and if that's the case uh, this means that r has to be perpendicular to f and if i look at this it happens in this condition so r and f are uh, perpendicular to each other we know this angle is theta if that angle is theta this one's theta too based on the trick that we covered previously in the channel so when we have two angles that each side of it is perpendicular to the other one these two angles are the same and we have the same thing in here uh, we have this one perpendicular to this one and we have this one perpendicular to this one meaning these two are theta the rest is pretty similar basically we have the tangent of theta in here which will be 
basically h over b and the rest would be similar to here the tangent the theta would be tangent inverse of h over b so definitely the second way is the easiest way i just want to give the first way just to compare and like give you guys another idea to how we can find the maximum of something based on the derivative which is a very common way uh in these kind of questions to find the maximum so yeah hope you guys find this one helpful uh please make sure to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's gonna help me to reach out to more students and that would be all you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.